Hi guys, this is going to be a three-part video for Mexico. And the first place we're going to talk about is the unnamed East Pacific Rise. This one, divers in a submersible Albin discovered an extremely fresh lava flow in an unexpected location at 10 degrees 40 north, 44 north on the East Pacific Rise during an expedition in November 2003. The young flow was, dis was covered by bacterial mats, had large amounts of bacterial flock or snow blowers issuing from diffuse vents, and was sparsely populated by small animals. Uranium series dating indicated that the eruption had taken place within a time window only a few months to weeks prior to the observations. The segment of the East Pacific Rise, located just north of Clipperton Transform Fault, is an area with an estimated low magma production rate. And that's kind of interesting. The next one is Los Atixcos. also known as Cerro El Abra, consists of a shield volcano topped by two large pyroclastic cones and associated lava fields at the eastern end of the Mexican volcanic belt along the Gulf of Mexico, about 80 kilometers northwest of the city of Veracruz. The two pyroclastic cones, both known as Cerro Las El Atic At Atlixcos, lie along east-west line about two kilometers apart. Both cones are breached to the east. A broad apron of basaltic lava flows extends primarily to the north and east, reaching as far as the coast. The extent of the lava shield is defined by the Rio Santa Ana on the northeast and the Rio El Tucan on the south. The young morphology of the cones cause Negendek et al. 1985 to consider them both to be Holocene age. Other pyroclastic cones of quaternary age are located to the northwest, and a group of cones in solidic lava domes of tertiary to quaternary age were constructed along the coast to the southeast. So we're going to tilt. You can see one is here. will turn and there is another over here. The next one we're going to look at is Volcan Barcena. And this is Isla San Benedicto over here. And this is the most prominent feature of Isla San Benedicto, the northeast most of the Relavigido Gigido Islands, 350 kilometers south of the, of the tip of Baja, California. San Benedicto Island elongated in the northeast southwest direction contains a series of Pliocene tertiary tracheac lava domes to the north end. The southern end of the 4.5 kilometer long island is formed by Barcena and Monteculo Cineritico, a smaller, tougher cone that preceded and was largely overtopped by Barcena. Monteculo Cineritico Tico may also have been constructed during the last past hundred years and formed the high point of the island prior to the formation of Barcena. The growth of the 300 meter high Barcena tephra cone beginning in August 1952 was accompanied by strong explosive eruptions and pyroclastic flows. 
The eruption concluded the following year with the emplacement of two small lava domes in the crater and the extrusion of a prominent coastal lava delta in the southeast base of the cone. So you can see the two that are here, this one and this one here. I'm sorry if I don't get the names correct. I don't speak Spanish, so I'm still learning. The next one is Cer Cerberuco. And it's the only historically active volcano in the northwest part of the Mexican volcanic belt, which is kind of interesting. Our next one is Cerro Prieto. which means Black Hill, is a volcano also associated with the East Pacific Rise. And if you look down in here, you can see lots of writing within this volcano area. The next one is Chinchin Notsen. This is a volcanic field that covers 90 kilometers long east-west trending area immediately south of Mexico City. You can see all the cones here. And this is a volcano here as well. This is Volcan Sishluk. Grand over here. Our next one is El Chicon. It's an active volcano in Francisco Leon, northwestern Chiapas, Mexico. El Chicon is part of a geologic zone known as Chiapanacan volcanic arc. El Chicon is a complex of domes with a tough ring made of ejected volcanic material located between Trans-Mexican Volcanic Belt and the Central America Volcanic Arc. El Chicon erupted in 1982. Prior to this, activity had not occurred since circa 1360, although debates in literature occur around the eruption occurring in circa 19, in 1850. Our next one is Cofred del Parot. And it's a massive quaternary andesitic daxic shield volcano. You can see there's a refuge up here.
Our next one is Kalima. You can see how big this is. Is a volcanic complex. A group of cinder cones of late Pleistocene age is located on the floor of the Kalima, Graben West, and east of the Kalima complex. See how big it really is. Our next one is Commandu Le Prisma. which is a volcanic field. And it's huge. Our next one is Coronado. And it's a small stratovolcano at the northern tip of the Coronado Island. Our next one is Las Cumbre. It's a volcanic complex, a group of monogenetic cones, explosion craters, and andesitic and rhyolitic lava domes. It's located north and south of Cerro Las Cumbres. Three of these, Ex Lista and El Rodeo to the north and Ex Sol to the south, are obsidian domes. Our next one is Las Deradumbadas. And the name means collapsed ones. It's a rhyolithic twin dome volcano. Its two summits are nonetheless within the top 30 of the country's highest mountain peaks. You can see how large it is. Our next one is Durango Volcanic Field.
and it's a volcanic field with Mars complexes with two intercrossing Mars and a series of nested cinder cones. And our last one for today is La Gloria Volcanic Field. And it's a volcanic field. Okay, guys, please like, subscribe, share. Check below the video for the KML to the map that has all of the different volcanoes and features on it. Thank you and much love.